Hello everyone! Welcome back to our simple automation tutorials with Selenium in Java. Today we will be diving into browser options specifically for the Mozilla Firefox browser. We'll cover the same functionalities as we covered for Google Chrome, such as resizing browser windows, running the browser in headless and incognito models, and opening the browser in a specific language. Let's get started. Let's start with the code that will make Mozilla start in maximized mode. This is not a browser option, it is a method applicable to all browsers. Let's check it. In a previous video, we covered the same manipulations with a browser, but for Google Chrome. Now, let's scroll down to the Open Mozilla Firefox method and add the Firefox options code, which will allow browser options to apply. We need to add it above the line of code where the driver variable is initialized. First, we need to import the Firefox options class into our class, just like we did before. Hover the cursor over Firefox options and import to class, or select it and press Alt-Enter. Once the class is imported, we need to add the options object to the Firefox driver class. Simply enter the word options within the round brackets when initializing the Firefox driver instance. In the future videos, we will cover basic Java concepts, but for now, this tutorial is designed as a step-by-step -step guide, allowing you to perform basic tasks without prior knowledge of Java. Currently, when we run the open Mozilla Firefox browser method, the browser window appears small, which could impact future UI tasks that we'll create. To change this behavior, we need to add the following line of code. Driver manage window maximize. It is important to place this line of code below the web driver initialization code. Otherwise, it won't work. The final code should look like this. Let's run the code by clicking on the play icon near the open Mozilla Firefox method name. Unfortunately for now, there is no direct browser option to start Mozilla Firefox in maximized mode. Due to this limitation, Mozilla Firefox starts in a default window size and then resizes to the maximized full screen mode. Now, let's explore the next option, Driver Manage Window Set Size. This method allows us to launch the browser with an initial window size based on the specified parameters. To apply this method, we need to do the same as with the maximized mode method. We can simply add this line of code below the web driver line. For example, by setting the window size to 500 on 500, it will be clearly visible that the option is applied. However, there is a small issue. Both methods are related to how the browser window will be displayed after launch. It's not critical, but it's better to command out the maximized method. It's a straightforward process. We just need to add two slashes at the start of the 37th line of code. By commanding out this line of code, it will be grayed out, indicating that it will be ignored when the code is run. Now, let's run the code by clicking the play button, and we can see that the browser window opens as before, not maximized, and then changes its shape to a square with a specified size. This can be useful for responsive web design testing. Let's move on to the next browser option. The Accept Language option is used to open websites in a specific language. It allows us to simulate users from different regions by adjusting the browser's language accordingly. To apply this option, you need to place a line of code with the Add Preference option above the web driver line. In this case, we have used the Ask Country code for Spain, so the browser will open in the Spanish language. Also, we need to change the URL of the Mozilla website. Currently, it's hard-coded to English. To fix this, just remove everything after the org. Now, let's run the code by clicking the play button. After running the code, the browser window will open and the Mozilla Firefox website will be displayed in the Spanish language. You can confirm it by checking the website URL. It should have ES letters in the path parameters. Next, let's move on to the next browser option, the private option. 
As the name suggests, this option will open the browser in incognito or private browsing mode. In this mode, the browser will not store cookies, history or any other data after the session is closed. To apply this option, we need to add the code above the web driver code. Run the method by clicking on the play button. The browser window will open in incognito mode. The incognito mode is extremely useful when you want to start a fresh, private browsing session for your automated tests, ensuring that no data from previous sessions interferes with the current test run. Now, let's explore one more browser option, the headless option. This option will run the browser in the background without displaying a graphical user interface. It's commonly used for automated testing or web scraping tasks where rendering the GUI is not necessary. To check it, add the line of code above the web driver line and then run the open Mozilla Firefox browser method. This time, you won't see the browser window as the headless option hides the graphical interface. Instead, you'll only see the result of running the code in the console. Headless mode is particularly useful when you run automation testing on remote web servers, improving efficiency and resource utilization. That concludes our discussion on applying five basic browser options to the Mozilla Firefox browser. The final code will be available in the lecture materials and on our website testing101.net. In the next lecture, we will learn how to apply browser options to the Microsoft Edge browser. Hope to see you there!